Hello and welcome back. And today we're going to be looking at the basics of lists, using lists, creating lists, um, how to print out bits and pieces of lists. So we're going to start with the very basics of what a list is, and then we'll be moving on to that to do some more complicated stuff. But I'll sort of break that down in separate videos. So we're starting off today. What is a list? Well, a list is a variable which contains other variables basically. Um, so so my list here, this variable, my list contains the strings one, two and three. Now the way a list works is that um, these three items are held in three separate positions in the list. So one is position zero, two is position one, and three is uh, position two. So it's zero, one, two, because all lists start from position zero. So the benefit of doing this is that if I had, say, a list of high scores, I could store all of those um, high scores in one list variable as opposed to having them all stored as individual variables and then calling them at different times. So if I want to print out this list, pretty straightforward, if I want to print the whole thing out, just print my list and that just prints the uh, whole, uh, whole list out. So you can see that it's printed the whole thing out for me. If I wanted to print out a specific item on the list, so if I wanted to print out the uh, first position in the list, I would print uh, my list, but then in square brackets, print the uh, uh, write down the position that I want to print out. So the position I want to print out is zero because that is the first position. And then if I run this, you will see that it prints out everything and then it prints out the first position underneath it. So here it's printed out the first position. Um, let's put some um, names in here actually so we can actually see it working a little bit better. So it prints out the list here and then it prints out the first name. So say for example I want to now change one of the items in my list. I want to change um, the first item in the list. Okay, obviously I can delete it here, but what I can also do is if I've created a program where I need that item at that point um, at the beginning of the program and then something happens later on and I need to change that item in that list, I can use um, this, uh, this way of doing it. I can call that uh, position, so I would do my list and then it's position zero and I would now make that equal to uh, whatever I need it to be equal to now. A lot, of, uh, a lot of blokes names here. So now I'm going to print my list, making sure obviously that I put the brackets around it. So we see initially it um, prints out uh, Ben, Lee and Luke and then it prints out just position zero and then it changes position zero to Adam based on the code that I've just put in there. Position zero is now Adam. Now, the next point, um, I may want to add another item to the list. And you may think, well, um, if I have uh, position zero here equals Adam, zero, one, two, position three, which uh, hasn't actually been created yet, I should just be able to do um, position my list three and then put another name in there. So if I do that, you will see that I get an error equals... Uh, all right, okay. So if I now run this, you're going to see that I get this uh, index out of range. And the reason for that is because position three doesn't exist yet. In order to um, add other positions onto the end, I need to append the list. So instead of doing um, position three, I want to create position three first of all. And I do that by typing my list.append. This creates a new position for me at the end of the list. And inside that new position, it puts this. So let's try this again. So now um, append is read only, and that is because I need to obviously put brackets around this as well. Getting myself a little bit here. So I need to make sure I put my brackets around there. My list. Text. And, ah, 
doesn't need an equals. That's what that's what the problem is. So try this. In. There we go. So now if I print my list again. It's added the, um, it's appended Joe to the end of the list. So it's put the last part on the list there. Um, I can obviously, uh, if I wanted to append more names, I would just do my list append and I would put uh, more names in there after that as well. Now, the last thing to do here that I'm going to show you on this starter video to lists is um, printing out the list one item at a time. Obviously, if I print my list it prints them all out next to each other now you may not want that you may want it to print the first name then the next name on, on another list then the next name on, on another list and keep going through like that and to do that we need to use a for loop i'm going to say for x in range now i'm just going to type this and then i'm going to explain what it does in a second Okay, so a for loop tells the um, computer that um, we are going to complete um, this loop for a number of times. And what I'm saying is, however long the list is, so however many positions the list is, I want you to complete this. So if the um, list is three positions long, um, only run the loop three times. If the list is four positions long, um, run the uh, run the loop four times. I am finding out that information by here. What how a for loop would normally look is you would have range and you would put a number in there. So this case here, this loop would run four times. Um, but what I did was I said, okay, I want you to look at um, uh, my list. I want you to look at the length of my list because this will return a, a number, an integer, and I want you to use that integer. So the length of my list at the end is going to be four, basically, because it, because it's got four items in it. So that means that it will run the um, it will run the loop four times. So I'm saying here for x in range, run the run the loop four times. Um, what I want to do now is I want to print. Um, the position, the uh, item out. So I actually just print uh, my list. Okay. So what has actually happened here then? Uh, for loops are uh, counters. X is my counter. Every time my loop runs, X increases by one. So at the beginning, it's set to zero. So here, it runs through the um, the loop and at the first time it runs through it's set to zero so here what I'm actually printing is my list and position zero when that's done it goes back through and ticks over so now x is one we check the length here it's only run once so this is still okay so it will run again but what happens is that my list because x is now set to one my list will now contain position one. This X here will be one as well, so it'll print position one. Then we'll go round again, so X will then be two, so this will be two. X will be three, this will be three. X will be four, this will be four, until we reach the end of the list. So until you reach the maximum length of the list. So if I run this again, we can see here that I've actually printed them all out one after the other here, which is exactly what I wanted. So if we wanted to create kind of like um, lists which had a name and a high score next to it or something like that, we could use a 4x in range loop here. Um, I hope that has been useful. That is a initial starting point into using lists. I'm going to be going on in some other videos on the um, using lists in different ways. As a starting point, have a look at this video, and then if you're done with this video, you understand everything in this video, then go on and have a look at the other two list videos that I've created along with this. Okay, well, thanks for listening, and I hope you got something out of that.